Okay, and we are back. So, we're on a little scavenger hunt. And I tracked down some sticks. And... Oh, I'm full on weight here. Let's uh, drop this. Wooden support. I made an extra wooden support, that's okay. So yeah, went out, got some sticks. Uh, it took a little while. Again, when when I had to look around, couldn't find. Um, unfortunately, couldn't find myself a. Um, what are those devices called? Um, <laughs> pulling a blank here. Could, I couldn't find a hand handsaw, so that is most unfortunate. But on the good side, we got lots and lots of logs. Yay! Now oh, hold on. Let's drop all the logs here. Oh my god, all the logs. There's so many. Alright, I think we're going to have to go into a town and look for some more. Um, look for some more stuff, because we, we just... We need a handsaw. We really do need a handsaw to store all this stuff. Um, guess kind of keep it with me. Put this in here. Oh, actually... Perfect. Because the the crates don't have a weight limit, I can actually pick all this up. Right? Cannot lift. And shift click. Wait. Yeah, shift click it all in there and then watch. Watch this. Pick up all the logs. And boom, shift click it into there. Sweet. And wooden support to put that in there just for now. Actually no, I'll leave it on the floor. Um, so yeah, I can keep all my wooden logs. I can keep, you know, lim limitless amount of logs in there. Because there is no weight limit into the crates, which is nice. Alrighty. Oh. Might as well pick those up. And... Drop them here. Perfect. Oh, also, when I said shift click, my bad. I meant... I think you could... Wait, hold on one second. Oh no, it's shift click. Yeah, you do shift click them in there. So yeah, checking these again. No luck. No handsaw luck. Unfortunate. That's okay. Um, what can you do? What can you do? Okay, so I did see... Come on. A stick. And a nail, conveniently here. I can go ahead and craft that into arrows. So I got six arrows total now to work with and zero hand saws. <laughs> uh, I can take this scrap metal here and there's a bunch of purposes for scrap metal but if you put it into the crafting bench it creates two nails. Oh and I made a caltrop by accident. Uh, caltrop is an anti-zombie defense. It is a spike defense and I always run into them so I'm gonna put it in a place where I'm not gonna run into. Which I end up will, which I will end up running into. By the way, just saying. Okay, I never come this way. I'm gonna put the couch up there. You will damage yourself if you walk into it, so I'm hoping I remember not to walk into it. I can also just destroy it, but I, I you know, it's a waste. All right, what's my situation looking like food-wise? I am still good on food. And let's get this police car. And let's see, we need to go to another town. Left or right? We can go right. Well, if we can get out of here. Let's see. Let's see what kind of driving job I have here. Oh. Glitch through. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Managed to glitch my way through. Alright, so there is a military base here and yeah sure you know what let's just go into the military base and uh, we can kill some RCMP officers it's just a game it's just a game it's just a game no one is actually going to go out and kill an RCMP officer please just just no it's just a game it's just a game all right 
So let's leave our police car here. And because these zombies are armored, they should take more hits. They should. And they are. As you can see. Uh, in my experience, it seems to be kind of random. Generally speaking, these do um, take more hits because they are armored. But it seems to be kind of random as well. In that, uh, sometimes they take one hit, sometimes they take, you know, four or five. It's just whatever. It's how the game dictates it. There we go. Uh, I'm going to save my... I was going to use my crossbow, but you know what? It's, it's not worth it right now. I can just save it. So I can restock on fuel right there. And what do we got going on here? A maple strike. That is a fully automatic... Hold on. That is a fully automatic assault rifle that takes NATO rounds and ATO rounds. Oh, this is smoke grenade. I've never used these. I kind of want to use it now. Hold on. I've never used a smoke grenade. I'm actually curious what it does. Wow. Smoky. <laughs> All right. That's... Uh... Little underwhelming. That's okay. Okay. So in each military... Well, I shouldn't say in each military base, but in most military bases, there are four water towers. And in, in these water towers, you will find lots and lots of goodies. Uh, caltrops, barbed wire, and a scope. This is a six times magnification scope. Since I already have one on my crossbow, I'm actually going to use my... My... Uh, Maple Strike Assault Rifle, and I'm going to put on a 6x zoom scope, and that gives me, this is actually probably my favorite weapon in the game, uh, it's a one shot headshot, pretty much, oh my safety is on, if I'm not a scrub and I don't miss, it's pretty much a one shot headshot, uh, however, I don't have a silencer on it, so it makes a whole bunch of noise, and I've attracted a whole bunch of zombies. As you can see. Oh, I don't have it equipped. Let's equip that here. Let's take out some zombies. Let's go. Yeah, it usually is a one-hit kill. I'm not sure what dictates whether it is or isn't a one-hit kill. To the head, at least. Also, it can go in full auto. I'm just choosing to keep it in semi. Uh, to conserve on ammo. Like, well, not to waste ammo, rather. Not to conserve, just not to waste. Uh, conserving ammo would be not using it at all. <laughs> Make sure nothing's going to sneak up on me here. There we go. I'm just using it because I want to show it off. Why not? I'll find needle rounds eventually. I'm not worried about that. Any other zombies? Dead. And I have one bullet left. Put it into you. Okay. Any other zombies? Eh, not in the nearby vicinity. So I came here. Whoa. A Humvee. Wow, I didn't expect that, actually. And it has fuel. Sweet. Okay. Uh, you can repair vehicles with blow torches, by the way. Just to uh, let you know. So I came here in hopes that I find a handsaw. Because you can sometimes find them under these little barricades here. Um, I'm just going to check all around and hope I get a handsaw. Duct tape. I hope I get a handsaw, because that would be really, really helpful. <laughs> Alright. Let's check up in this water tower, see what we got going on here. We have ourselves another maple strike, a work light, and is that a 12x scope? That is a 12x scope. So, to put it into perspective, um, the difference between a 12 and a 6x scope. This is a 6x scope. I'm going to go ahead and equip the 12 scope. That's the 12 scope. This is actually a really nice scope. I'm going to keep this one. Um, and I'm going to drop, actually, you know what, actually what I'm going to be doing here is since the crossbow is completely silent, where's my six times scope? 
since my crossbow is completely silent, it would actually probably benefit from a 12 times scope. So that is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to switch out the scopes. And I'm going to, where's my dual component rail? I'm going to drop that. Don't need it. Yeah, sweet. Okay, let's put that on there. It has a 12 times scope when I, when I equipped it there. Yeah, okay, sorry. 12 times scope, perfect. So, zombie, dead. Like, that's, that's, yeah, that's smart. That's efficient. I like that. Uh, we've got another maple strike here. So, what I'm going to do is just eject its ammo. Um, there we go. So, I'm going to drop the weapon, pick up the NATO rounds, and load them up into this maple strike. Yeah, perfect. And I have a six times zoom scope, I don't need it. So I'm going to drop that. Um, and the work lights. Cool. What's that? I don't need that. No, need that. Okay. So we basically got a scope there. <laughs> That's all that work was for. But it's a good thing. That scope is really going to be nice on a... Um... Oops, come on. Come on. There you go. That scope is going to be nice on a silenced weapon like the crossbow. Okay. Are there any of the zombies back here? Maybe. Alright. Let's see. Can we find a handsaw? What is that? It's a frag grenade. Yes, that is a grenade. And yes, it will hurt you a lot if you get hit by it. I've killed myself a couple times with frag grenades, just messing around with frag grenades. Oh, so that's raw explosives. I don't know what to do with raw explosives, to be honest. I'll have to probably figure that out. Maybe you can craft it into hand grenades. That, that I guess that would make kind of sense. Maybe. Okay. <clears throat> Round two. Can we find military bullets? What's that? A handsaw! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we got it. We are good. We are good. <laughs> Alright, bandages. Let's see what else we got going on here. Army fatigues. There's something under here. Ooh, holographic sight. I have not found one of those before. A road flare. All right. This is my favorite thing to do with road flares. Grab it and throw it. Because <laughs> to me, to me, to me, there's no use for them. I don't have a use for them. I know some people like them. Um, I guess you can like walk into a town at night and not have to worry about it. But eh, not for me. So forest armor, uh, I do believe is less than my police armor. So let me drop my... Alright, drop everything. Alright, drop everything. <laughs> there we go. So this forest armor is 5 kilograms. It's really heavy, but it's military grade bullet protection. So that'll protect me much more than um, the police, the police uh, armor right there. Barbed wire. Yeah, I really don't need barbed wire. Okay, so we came here for a handsaw. We got a handsaw. And I think we looted everything. Yes, we did. Okay, so uh, I'm going to head back to the base, create some crates, and we'll call it a session. So be right back. Okay, so we're back at the base, and I just wanted to show you guys how this... I'm going to go ahead and make all the, the crates, but I just want to show you guys how this works uh, now that we have the handsaw. So before, you saw that we needed... Um, we needed sticks and sticks are hard to get by if you don't have a handsaw but if you do all you need is 12 boards total to make a crate you put the handsaw in the tool section right here and instead of creating wood wooden plates you actually create sticks each single plank gives you four sticks Boom, there we go. And sorry, we actually need uh, 11 boards, but you can't craft 11, so 
uh, one, two, three, four. Put the wooden plates in, craft the wooden frames, the sticks, two, three, four, five, six. Put that back. And there, and there. Boom. See how much easier? Three logs gives you one crate. So that's fantastic. We have a whole bunch of uh, logs here. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of crates and store all my stuff and finish up here. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first session of Unturned. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. Uh, if you want to comment below, let me know what you think of the series so far. Any suggestions? Um, and uh, if you are enjoying this and do want to see more Unturned, uh, more Minecraft, Borderlands 2, whatever you're interested in in my channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. I very much appreciate it again, and I hope you all have an awesome day. Take care, and goodbye.